this pink lemonade concentrate. Get out there. Damn, look at the color on that. I love that color. It's food coloring. How come he doesn't know this? Pink lemonade is just regular lemonade with food coloring. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But, before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's go check this out. Watch this. Got some cinnamon toast crunch in there, right? Perfect. Now we can muddle these a little bit. This drink's wild, it's got a lot of twists in it. You don't want to muddle them to complete dust, you know, but you want to get them muddled. Of course, it's a tipsy bartender, so of course it's gonna make a mess. Okay. Why even wear gloves? He just put that thing in his mouth. Now your gloves are dirty. If you're gonna be this unsanitary, why do you even wear gloves at all? And of course, he's gonna continue making the drink without changing the gloves. Chocolate that I just melted. Beautiful. And now you're coming over here, and you can just- Why not use a plate? That thing is barely big enough because of the handle. Yeah, does he not have a plate? He either rims things on these weird bowls or cutting boards. Like, why not just use a plate to rim glasses? Bang, homeboy. Look at that bad boy. Now let's get the chocolate set. So these white chocolate chips, right? Check them out. That's right, they do come in white too, homeboy. Yeah, who doesn't know that? I mean, you just mentioned that the rim was white chocolate. So why would anyone be surprised that they're white chocolate chips when you already used white chocolate earlier? And why are we putting those in there? It's because we can use that to be the chocolate in our hot chocolate. So now we pour it in our hot milk. So we pour, 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 pour. Oh yeah. Please don't tell me that this is meant for one person. I mean, that is like one and a half cups of white chocolate chips. Right about that, because we gotta leave space for some booze, homeboy. Now we come in, give this a stir to make sure all our chocolate's melted. Dude, the chocolate's melted. Holy crap, this thing's real. We coming over the top of that bad boy with this rum chata. We're trying to keep it white, you see? Give this a little stir. Why don't you just, well, <sighs> Why do you stir twice? You're adding extra cells for no reason. Now we hit this bad boy with a little bit of whipped cream. More cream, more calories, check. You gotta back him up. We reach in here, grab a handful. Jeez, this is the second time you did that and we haven't seen him change his gloves once. Mm -mm -mm. And he's grabbing it a second time and putting it directly on the drink. Like, he does it so shamelessly in front of the camera and like I don't even think he realizes what's wrong with it. Oh yeah. And then and of course you have to create a mess. And of course there's only one straw because this is meant for one person. And now guys, earlier I infused this absolute vodka with Jolly Ranchers. So put in, you know, I'm gonna put in like 10 Jolly Ranchers, shake it up and just let that work its magic. And now you got- It's not even done infusing. You still have three whole ones in there. Oh boy, we need two cups of water of the hottest of hots, right about there. I got watermelon Jolly Rancher Jello. You see the soup? Now, you grab your vodka. Like I said, we drop about 10 Jolly Ranchers in here. Let them dissolve a little bit and now you hit it. You hit it. You... This makes no sense. You put Jolly Rancher powder in there. Why didn't you just put the vodka in this gelatin mix? Like, why make this thing separately and then pour it in? You already have Jolly Rancher. Like, why not just add the vodka in that instead of taking these two steps together? This makes no sense. Let's see if our calculations are correct, guys. You watching this? Look at the container. Look at the container. Bingo! I mean, it's not perfect. It is perfect. Let me put this in the fridge. No, it's not perfect. And you didn't measure anything. You just used the measurement that the box told you to do. Don't choke on these, homeboy, okay? Don't choke on these little shards, okay? I know they're cute, but they're killer too, okay? You want died in battle, charging the enemy, okay? That's a good talk. Why are you garnishing it with more Jolly Rancher? You use the Jolly Rancher candy for the infusion, you use the Jolly Rancher powder for the gelatin mix, and now you're putting more Jolly Rancher as a garnish? This is just Jolly Rancher's 
repeatedly doesn't contribute to anything just the same flavors over and over again this is redundant the very jolly rancher vodka watermelon say pick up my watermelon i, I just want this imagine this being yeah and you're also creating a mess guys you want to start this off with a little bit of caramel syrup Ooh, we look at that bad boy now you follow that caramel not caramel caramel <laughs> up with a little bit of azucar aka Two types of sugar. You already have caramel, and now you're adding sugar to the caramel. So now grab my champagne glass, and I just go through the nice little rim. Okay. Now I come in here and my sugar, and I just roll. You have got to be kidding me. Why do you need so much sugar on the rim? The rim itself is gonna be so sweet. Beautiful. We grab this right here, a green apple crown. Now I come behind that with a little bit of apple juice. Why do you need apple juice? You already put the crown apple. It's the same flavors. Oh yeah, this is fun. Guys, you're not gonna find this at no bar, okay? So don't expect to go to the bar <laughs> and be like, hey, give me that. Uh, also, they probably don't know what this is because most bars, I've never even seen a bar that had apple juice in it. That's not something that we carry. On Royal. Caramel apple mimosa, okay? They can take you, they can punch you. Bartenders, you know, because bartenders, some bartenders is crazy. I work with a few. They love to fight. Some of them do it. No, we don't. Why would we risk our job to fight? Guys, you want to get four of these out, right? And you can put two on a stick, like so. You wonder, what is he doing, Bill? Of course. It's a tipsy bartender, so of course there's going to be candy. Side, like so. And there you have it. Crown! Mimosa. Oh, it's not a mimosa. You don't have orange or grapefruit juice. And look how flat that is. That's a sign that the sparkling wine that he used was warm. The apple juice looked kind of warm as well, but you can see that it's flat. So the whole thing's warm. And how are you supposed to drink it with the garnishes in the way? Both the candy and that apple. Homeboy, let's start off right here with this, okay? This pink lemonade, concentrate. Pop this bad boy open and we going all in. Get out there. Pack. Damn, look at the color on that. I love that color. It's food coloring. How come he doesn't know this? Pink lemonade is just regular lemonade with food coloring. If we can get a drink that color, that's good. Now you need to get some. Yeah, it's called food coloring. It's done by food coloring. There's no mystery behind this. Yeah, amen. Now we're gonna follow that up with some pink vodka lemonade. Okay. Why are you putting pink Whitney? You already put pink lemonade. This is the same flavors over and over again. This is redundant. Okay. Now we can follow that up with some lemon lime soda. We got two little small cans here. Again, he's using room temperature soda. Like, does he ever chill any of his carbonated beverages? He just lost all the carbonation just by opening it. I'm good at this, okay? Just run my little line. Lemon around the rim. Coming with a sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Why is he doing that? Why is he reaming the glass like that? Why not just put the glass and just run it on the side so you don't have to make such a huge mess? What are you trying to say this line ain't straight? I have people going Jesus because the line ain't straight, okay? But I mean. Yeah, if you just put the sugar on a plate, you could have just done it without creating a mess and it'll be straight. You just put it down and you just twirl it without changing the angle and you will get a rim that's completely straight. So if you pour it like that, of course it's not gonna be straight. It's gonna go all over the place because you can't control it. Pink, buddy, stay pink. She's so pinky. And why did, why did you put the garnish before you poured a drink in? Now it's getting in the way. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on a comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.